Hello. Papular urticaria. So urticaria hives, papular bumps, bump hives, is actually bug bites. It's actually mite bites. And you get this from chitiella, which is also called walking dandruff, which is typically from a dog, from a canine. And um, I bet you half the patients that have this are like, it's like, if I, I it's as if I've accused someone in their family because they're like, our dog is clean. And I'm like, I am just the messenger here. What walking dandruff is, is it's basically little tiny itchy bumps that we get usually on more exposed areas. It could be arms, it can be legs, and it's on back. And um, they're little tiny bumps. And it's basically people that are reacting to these little mite bites. And so these um, live on dogs. But on humans, we are an end host, meaning they can't thrive, they can't live, but they can bite and you can react to them. People don't still have the mites on them for very long. I don't know how long they live, but it's probably like a day or less. The little bumps can last for many days, you know, even a week. And then you, you're scratching them and you kind of react to them. You urticate or you hive or welt a little bit around that area um, because of the bite. The interesting thing is most families have one person that reacts to them and then most of the other family doesn't react to them. And so they're like, it can't be because my spouse who also, you know, sleeps in the same room or same bed and where the dog's sleeping doesn't react or doesn't have these bumps. And yet I've seen twins, the upper twin had um, papular urticaria, um, had these mite bites in the one on the lower bunk who's a twin. So very similar genetics, same room, same dog, and didn't get them. So it can happen and it often happens. Here's the cool thing. If we figure it out, which you kind of have to get a little history and look at them and you usually don't have to take a biopsy, but if you did, it would show like a arthropod bite type of a, a, a bite reaction. Um, usually by giving the pet ivermectin, which is an antiparasitic, um, it will clear up this rash. It's amazing. And I love to kind of figure it out because I know if we give an appropriate dose to the pet that this can happen. And usually we have to include, you know, either a veterinarian or somebody to help get the prescription for the dog. Um, but it, it does the trick and, it, and it's a game changer. And then the itching is gone. And we will help give the patient, you know, some topical cortisone or topical steroids to be used with you know, um, topically until we can get it fixed. But the key is to get rid of these mite bites because the dog's not going anywhere. And, and it's not if we really scrub the dog good or, you know, if it's only an outside dog, it doesn't matter. You're still in contact with that dog even briefly and you are uber reactive to these, to these mites, to these mite bites. So that is papular urticaria. Kind of a little more uncommon thing but we see it at least monthly or a few times monthly in our clinic. Very rewarding to figure out and then treat and patients are super grateful.